Look at this. I can do just lifted it on my back. Oh, Welcome back to Crazy Minecraft ASMR Edition. I'm your host, Kraken Kid. No, I, I, I'm just kidding, guys. I, I'm not doing that the whole video. <laughs> uh, what is going on, though? I am back at the base. Uh, last episode, we tried to make the rocket with Campbell Crab, and you know, I got a little bit crazy at the end, and I took it, and I ran, and I regret nothing, okay? I regret nothing. Now, uh, I also uh, took my Tesla back and Cody's gravity gun, which I just happened to find in one of Cannibal's chests. He has no idea I took him. Actually, he might, I don't know. I don't know if he does or not, but anyways, I am going to add them to the trophy collection of stolen items, because why not? This is the perfect thing. You know, they were once stolen from me, and now they returned. The gravity gun, I tested it out. I was gonna put it in this nice little uh, glass case, but it doesn't actually fit in it. So we're just gonna have to do the Tesla and then the gravity gun's gonna stay on the shelf. I have not fixed the mob farm yet. They're still crazy in there, so I just completely blocked it off. So what's the plan now that I have the spaceship and he doesn't? Well, there is actually some items that we still have to make before we can go to the moon. It's not as easy as I thought. And Cable Crab's going to probably be hunting me down right now to try to get this thing back. So we're pretty much gonna be at a war. So I'm gonna need you guys to help protect me. And I actually created this nice little list of the stuff that I'm going to need to go to the moon. Uh, Cause we gotta get there before he does. And obviously we're ahead because we have the rocket and basically used all his supplies, so that is great for us. So we have the rocket, we have the launch pads, we have the NASA workbench. What we need to work on is the fuel loader, fuel canister, oxygen gear and mask, oxygen tanks and compressors, parachute, and lastly, we need a refinery to turn oil into rocket fuel. Uh, I did go ahead and make a uh, few circuit fabricators and compressors, because I'm assuming that's the stuff we're gonna need. I haven't actually looked up the recipes for any of the other stuff, but I got one more other thing to show you guys. Let me just quickly lay these things out. So I think, okay, we'll put the compressors on the bottom. And the circuit fabricators up top. Now I am noticing that it doesn't look like it's connecting. So we might actually have to rethink this. They might actually have to go onto the wires, which would be kind of an annoying pain in the butt. All right, guys, as you can see, they're all connected now and repositioned. And I remembered that the compressors are actually more like furnaces and they just take coal. So they don't even need to be on that, which is good because we wouldn't have had that much space. So where are we going to launch the ship from US? Well, I have made this nifty little spot over here. And this is gonna be our launch room. So we need to set up the launch pads. I had that thing marked in the middle and I just deleted it. All right, so it's right underneath us. That's the first one. And we need to place these in a three by three square. So that ain't gonna do it. We, there we go. There. Perfect, and now we place down the rocket. I just love this, guys. Look at this. I can do, just lifted it on my back. I love the way it carries it. I think that's so cool. All right, we have the rocket placed and we can sit inside. We are probably about halfway done to becoming an actual astronaut. And that's gonna be a really good day. All right, guys, just taking a quick look at the list here and fuel loader and fuel canister. Let's go ahead and make those next. So we have to look up canister. No, oh, one N, come on Kraken. There we go. Here's the canister. We need compressed tin, glass, compressed steel, and a tin canister, which is just in a U shape. Okay, I think we could do that. Um, 
Once again, the compressed tin is just two next to each other in the compressors. So I'm gonna go ahead and stock those up with coal. Okay guys, real quick here, I just put fuel in all of these compressors, so they should be good to go. Uh, and I brought two stacks of copper and tin. I wanna see if I can use two different kinds and it'll still work. It looks like I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get these all going because I think I'm gonna need them eventually anyways. We'll do the same thing with the copper, split them up so it goes faster. And I already have a bunch of compressed steel left over from when we made the rocket and launch pads and etc. So now that that's going, uh, what was next on the list? I think we needed glass, okay. Compressed tin was working on it, tin canister, compressed steel. So I actually need some of that tin back and we need to make it into a bucket shape. There we go. We should probably make a few different canisters because you want to have some backup. So that should give us four. We'll see how that goes. That might be enough. I went ahead and made four more tin canisters because I realized I'm going to need them for some other stuff as well. Uh, as you can see, to make the oxygen concentrator, I will need the tin canister and that is required to make the oxygen gear and yeah so we should have everything we need to get started here and I'm pretty sure it was like that tin canister glass and if I remember right steel okay there it is okay so I went ahead and I made four of them for now I think that should do it I did notice we're gonna need to make some glass panes, which I'm not really sure. Okay, that is the crafting recipe for it, beautiful. And that's not quite gonna be enough to get all those pipings we need. So I'm gonna have to go find some more glass, I think. Oh no, that creates six, so that actually might do it. So let's see what we can do with all of this. So that's 12. Yeah, so that should be pretty good then. So I just went ahead and made the oxygen vent. It was pretty simple. And we have everything we need to make the oxygen concentrator. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be steel in every corner. We got to add, where is it? I had the vent here somewhere. Oh, it's already in there. Look at that. But, excuse me. And then go ahead and add the tin. And last but not least, we needed the tin canister. So there is that. And now we should be able to go ahead and craft that straight away into the gear. It's just using those pipes that we made. There we go. And that's one of the main pieces we need in order to breathe in space. Look at that beautiful thing. All right, guys, so I was looking up the oxygen tank and what we are going to need for that one. And we needed red wool, which I neither had wool or red wool. So we're going to have to make some. And I had some string and some rose bushes. So we are improvising here. Now, I think I should probably make at least two oxygen tanks. I have no idea if that's going to be enough, but it's going to have to be because that's all we're going to go with. <laughs> so... So if we end up running out of oxygen in space, that's probably not gonna be good. So, you know what, I, I'm gonna make three. I'm gonna make three, just, just, to be, just to be safe. So each one of those needs three wool. So we should have plenty. And we gotta go ahead and turn them red. Perfect. Now what else do we need for that? We need three tin canisters and compressed steel. I just smelted a bunch more tin because it turns out we need a bunch more tin canisters. So we're gonna need nine in total in order to make these oxygen tanks, which I think I should have enough because I already have three, so I only need six more of each. And there we go. Actually, I made more than I needed, so that is great. So we'll get this set up. And spread out the wool. 
There we go. And I think the last egg was compressed steel. Woohoo! All right, that we got a few more things we can cross off of our list. So why don't we go ahead and do that before we forget? We have fuel canisters and we have oxygen gear. We do not have the oxygen mask yet. So, and we have the oxygen chanks, but not the compressor. So we got two more things to do with oxygen and then we can finally breathe in space. Ugh. Okay, so this is the oxygen mask. Wow, that, oh, okay, that, that one's really simple, guys. All it is is rubber. So we can do that one right away with no, no issues. Uh, assuming that rubber bar works, which I think it should. Oh, it doesn't. Dude, I swear it's a rubber bar. Oh, two rubber and two plastic. Interesting. So I think I should have some plastic somewhere. You get that from smelting the raw rubber in the chemical. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember how to do that. Okay. So first, let me check my chemical chemical infuser. And that doesn't have any in it. So I'm going to have to go find some raw rubber or wood or something like that all right it's not that big of a deal uh we got wood and i think this stuff will work so let's go ahead and test that i'm hoping i don't have to go try to find a rubber tree because that would kind of be annoying okay so the way we do it i just looked it up is you put the wood through the one with water and then it will pump out some rubber that we then have to put through the one with oil so that's going to take not too long at all because we only need two of them. And I'll just let the rest of them go anyways because we will probably need them for something in the future. So this should be one of the easier items to cross. Ooh. And we are done. Now I think we need to smelt them in a furnace. And pop goes the weasel. Boom, there we go. Plastic sheets are done. And we have the compressor now. That is amazing, guys. We are so close to being done. Okay, what else did I need? I'm going crazy. Okay, it was the rubber. So that should go there, and that should go there. Boom! We have it. We have the oxygen mask. We have the compressor. All right, guys, so we could check off these two more things. And that just leaves the refinery, parachute, and fuel loader. Now, I was messing around with the oxygen compressor, and it's not filling it. It says not enough oxygen. Um, where did I see that? It said it somewhere, I swear. Oh, it says not enough oxygen right there. So I think I might have to bring this outside where the trees are and stuff in order to use it. I'm hoping that's what it is. So I'll have to bring an ultimate energy cube outside and we can do it out there. So let's at least make the refinery before we end here. It looks like we're gonna need some copper canisters. Interesting, so I have to go get some more copper ore, which I have out in the main chest room. I lost my bearings for a second, guys. I was just doing circles. Um, copper canisters, yeah, that's the first time we had to make that. All right, should have plenty here. If not, we have more in the storage facility. So let's get those on there. Need to make two copper canisters. Oops, I just made four. And we need some stone, which I have smelting, compressed steel, and a furnace. Oh, <gasps> do, do, do. Okay, I got all my cobble in here. Okay. I was just making sure it didn't all go away because I forgot to make a furnace with it first. There we go. So it should be... Yeah, that's it. That's all we need. One more compressed steel and bam, there we go. We have a refinery and this is going to be awesome, guys. So I probably need to place it in that same little weird way. Or does it not even... No, it does need batteries. Why are you not connecting, you poop head? That looks like it should be the slot. Come here. So this will turn buckets of oil into, oh, it's probably gotta go this way. Cause there's another slot that way. I figured it out, it's gotta go on the bottom. They all have to be perfect, unlike most of the items. So what I have to do is actually put in oil and then it'll pump out fuel. 
So I did get 10 buckets of oil. Let me just dump a bunch of this junk. We can figure it out later. I still want the clipboard. Thank you. Yeah, let's get these things in there. And I'm gonna need at least one fuel canister, I think. So I think all we have to do is, yep. Perfect, it just goes right in there. We should probably make a tank for this um, if we're gonna be using a lot of it. I'm just not sure how much fuel it actually uses to uh, go to the moon. So we're gonna have to like mess around with it and either do more or less. So I think this should just start putting... Okay, it's working. Fuel tank is going up, guys. We are creating rocket fuel. We're basically a rocket scientist, except for I just put an oxygen tank there instead of an empty canister. Now we are a rocket scientist. <laughs> rocket scientists can make mistakes too, guys. You know, I'm just human, okay? Or Martian, I'm a Martian. <laughs> so there we go. I think we're gonna end it there for the episode, guys. It's gonna take one more to, uh, actually, we could probably leave for the moon next episode because all we have to make is the parachute, fuel loader, and then figure out how this compressor works. So if you know anything about this compressor and why it's saying not enough oxygen, uh, please let me know. If I don't get any comments helping me, I'm probably just gonna try it outside and hopefully that works. If not, I can watch a few videos on it. But guys, I need you to comment down below. Like spam it up. I need names. Every good machine and vehicle has to have a name. We need a name for this rocket, baby. This is Kraken's first rocket and we're gonna be going to the moon and we're gonna be there before Cannibal. And whoever's name I end up choosing gets to be the tide changer of the day and go on the trip to the moon with me. I'll put you in one of those uh, soul stones so you can just come with me and explore the moon with me. How awesome will that be? All right, guys, thanks for watching and make sure you leave a like and comment down below in order to win Touch of the Day. See ya.